Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Basics of Nodes and Unreal Engine 4. In today's episode, I'm going to be going over the gate node, what it is, how it works, and how you can use it in your game. So a gate allows you to open and close it to allow the control of the execution flow. But what does that mean? Well, you can have an event to open this gate, an event to close this gate, an event to enter this gate. Then of the exit of this gate, this is the code that we want to fire off. So I'll give you a real life example. So I want to get through a gate to let's say open a door on the other side. What do I need to do? Well, I need to be able to open that gate to walk through it. If I don't open this gate, I can't walk through or enter, but if I open it and then close it, I then can't enter again. So I can only walk through the gate if I open it first, but again, if I open then close, I can't enter. So just think of it as a real life gate. You can only pass through it and exit it if it is open. So for example, if we want to open a door, what we can do is open our door blueprint here, which I made earlier. So I've also done some stuff in here earlier just to make this process easier for us, but I'm still going to show you the main fundamental aspects of the gate. So as you can see here, I have a door static mesh along with a box collision, so this and this for us to use. And so this box collision is where we want to be able to stand to open and close this door. So if we're in here, we can then open and close the door. So back in the event graph up here, if we right click on our box collision up here, add event, add on component begin overlap, and again, add on component end overlap, we now have our begin and end overlap events. And so this will be the open and close events for our gate as we want to open the door if we're in this box collision and not be able to open it if we're not in the box collision. And I also want to enter this gate, so open the door by pressing E. So to do that, I'm just gonna right click and search for an E keyboard event. You can create an action mapping, which will be a lot quicker, but this is just a basic part to show you. And then out of this, I'm gonna drag out of pressed and I'm going to get a gate like this. So you can see this is now our gate that we have in here. And so this is now in the enter, which is where we want it. So the E key is how we want to enter this gate. And then out of the begin and end overlap, out of other actor, I'm just going to cast to our character. So mine is the cast to third person character like so. And then I'm going to come out of these to go into the open and closed. So the begin overlap, I want to go into open and the end overlap is in close as I want this to be. As we enter the box collision, we can open the gate. When we leave the box collision, we close the gate. And so then out of the exit, so this is what will be fired off, I'm gonna put my door opening code, which like I said, I made earlier, but I do have a video which will be linked on screen now, explaining this more in depth and teaching you how to do this. But essentially what this is doing is when we press it the first time, it's gonna go into flip-flop, go off of A to play this door open timeline animation and then set the rotation of the door. And when we press it again, it will go out of B and so then it will just close this door. So again, watch that video if you want to know how to do that. And that will be up in the top right information tab of this video. So if we, like I say, connect that, compile, save, minimize, and hit play to test this, you can see that if we walk up to it, nothing happens. We can go straight through it, that's just because we haven't set up the collision. But if we're over here, press E, nothing happens. We go up to it, press E, we can see that the door is now opening. If we leave it, so we've gone in and left, press E, we still can't do anything, but if we go back in, press E, we can close this again. That is because the gate is allowing us to open this when we are in the collision. So if I show you from here, you should be able to see the execution lines going off when we, for the gate here. So if I hit play again, I walk into it, you saw the execution line go off the begin and now it's off end, we we'll go again. And then you saw it go from E all the way through the gate. And we leave, go in, press it again, going through the gate. So that works perfectly. So again, the enter input is the input to enter and then afterwards exit the gate. For example, an interaction keyboard event. The open input is to allow access into the gate. So you need to open it and enter it to then exit the gate afterwards. The close input is the event to close the gate, meaning even if you enter, you can't exit the gate and therefore can't fire off the code afterwards. And the toggle input is essentially the open and close put together. So for example, you can just press a button to toggle between the open and close state. So one event can both open and close the gate. So if this event happens once, it'll open. If it happens again, it'll close. So this is good, for example, if you just want to press F to open the gate and F to close it again, and then E to enter. We'll see, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but that's just an example of how it should help you understand it. And also the Boolean for the start closed means that when the game is started and when the game's played, the gate will be closed by default if this is set to true, meaning that you have to be able to open the gate first before you can enter it. Otherwise, it will start open, meaning you can then just enter it straight away without having to do anything else. And finally, the exit executable will fire off the line of code coming out of the gate. So for this to happen, the gate has to be open and it has to have been entered. So off of this exit, you could have the code for opening your door, for example. So you'd have to be in a box collision, you'd have to press E to then enter and exit the gate to open the door. But I think that'll be it for this video on explaining what gate node is. I hope you understand it a bit more now. If you do or don't, 
let me know in the comments down below and I'll hopefully help you understand it a bit more if you don't understand it from this video, but hopefully you do. And I also just want to say a big thank you to Phil or Maximus in my Discord server for creating this new end screen that you're just about to see. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.